Welcome back to the Neocortex. Today we're going to talk about natural alternatives to modafinil. What is modafinil? Modafinil is a used as a smart drug, although it's actually a narcolepsy treating medicine. So something that's prescribed to people who fall asleep constantly throughout the day due to neurochemical signaling in their brains. However, people have started using this and for a long period of time, along with other smart drugs such as Adderall and Ritalin, people have been using modafinil in order to gain and increase and enhance their ability to learn, focus, concentrate and be more productive. However, the implications of modafinil are, as with any drug, modafinil will cause you to have withdrawal symptoms when you come off and it's an expensive drug and it's not the best way to optimize yourself if you're looking for a long-term fix. So what is the natural alternative to modafinil? There's a few things that must be incorporated. Now, the most important thing, and this comes to most things in life, is your sleep. So unless you're getting seven to eight hours or seven to nine hours of quality sleep per night, then you're not going to be optimizing your mind, your brain and your body's functions. In order to maximize your sleep, there are several things you can do. You can watch my video on how I woke up at 5 a.m. every day for five months, where I talk about different techniques to optimize your sleep. And we, will, we can discuss further uh, details on how to optimize your sleep in future videos. So number one is to optimize your sleep. Number two is upon rising, get yourself some vitamin D. So wake up and get outside as soon as you can and expose yourself to sunlight and i don't mean expose your body i mean expose your eyes to sunlight without any windows or glass blocking you what this will do is it will set your day and your body clock to optimize your hormonal and your neurochemical signaling telling your body that it's time to wake up and it's time to ramp up all of the signaling of dopamine, adrenaline, noradrenaline, which will get your body moving and get your brain functioning in an optimal manner. The next thing you can do is exercise. And this could be a morning walk, a jog, or some weight training, or any form of exercise to elevate your heart rate. And what this will do is similar to waking up on time and waking up and getting vitamin D, is it will enhance the neurochemical signaling associated with productivity. This is because your core body temperature will be raised once you exercise. The blood flow throughout your brain and your body will be enhanced and you will get a secretion of the signaling which is critical to productivity, namely dopamine, adrenaline and noradrenaline. The other benefit of exercise and sunlight exposure and good sleep, along with all the other tools we'll discuss, is that as you increase and improve these across time, the accumulation effect will improve the result of each of these across time. Thirdly, you can use caffeine to upregulate your dopamine receptors across time. And you can also use caffeine to get a healthy or a relatively healthy increase in dopamine signaling and all of these associated pathways. With caffeine, try to limit your intake to early hours of the day. And it depends on what time you sleep and wake up. But avoid caffeine 12, 8 to 12 hours before bed. The next tool that you may choose to use is low dopamine from sensory inputs. So whether this means minimizing your social media use or minimizing your sugary and palatable foods intake, especially during the hours where you want to be productive, this will help your body to be more sensitized to dopamine. 
So when you are actually doing some work, which is not that enjoyable, if you wake up and you have some sugary food and you scroll through social media first thing upon waking, then your body's already achieved and received the dopamine hits. And so your baseline dopamine for that period of time will be reduced and less things will bring you pleasure. Another tool that you can use is cold showers, which are a very good tool to raise your baseline dopamine for a sustained period of time. And what it also does is helps you to exercise your executive functioning and your willpower. Because cold showers are something that we do not want to do. And when you are able to use your conscious reasoning to tell your body that you need to do something which is not pleasurable in the moment, you're strengthening those neuronal connections whereby you're using the full brain to control the rest of your body. Another tool which is really good and works very well in conjunction with caffeine is L-theanine. So the way that L-theanine works is that it releases a lot of neurochemicals which will help you to balance the charge or the fight and flight that you get from all of the aforementioned tools. So L-theanine is a calming ingredient and you can get it from tea or green tea or in supplement form. And what it does is it will help you to use that energy that you have from waking up early, exercising, taking your caffeine, having a cold shower, and it will help you to modulate that and sort of direct that in a better fashion to the thing that you need to get done. Because if you're taking caffeine, you know, if you take a large cup of coffee, you might start feeling jittery because you get so much excitatory neuronal signaling. Whereas L-theanine will give you a inhibitory neuronal signaling, but not to the detriment of your focus and your attention. Rather, it will help you enhance your focus and attention. And this will help you to continue your bouts of productive work effectively. Finally, a tool is prayer or if you're not a religious person, then meditation or mindfulness. And this can be done early in the hours or any time during the day. But when this is done, what it does, it also helps you to control your thought and your attention. And this will help you bring your focus to the tasks that you need to achieve and perform, as opposed to taking a drug to achieve this. So to summarize, modafinil works by increasing your dopamine, noradrenaline, adrenaline, um, serotonin and other receptors that you can watch in this video where I go into details. But the downsides are that you become addicted and you become dependent and you get withdrawal symptoms when you stop. So if you would like to continue to have the effects of enhanced biochemistry and enhanced dopamine and neuronal functioning, then what you can do is utilize these tools that I've just discussed in order to get not the same effects, but similar effects. However, the cumulative effect of doing these for a long and sustained period of time will give you what you're looking for from modafinil without having to take it. The neocortex over and out. Thank you.